A pleasant morning to all of you, kids. I am Teacher Elsie. Today, we will discover how to read the time on the clock. Before we start, here is the learning objective of our lesson today. Tell and write time by hour, half hour, and quarter hour using analog clock. Let's begin. Let us read this. Henry wakes up every 5 o'clock in the morning during school day. Do you know how 5 o'clock appears in the clock? Great! Try to observe the clock I am showing. This is the time which Henry wakes up. Do you know how to tell your time? This is what we will learn today. What is a clock? Very good! A clock tells time. This is the face of a clock. In our clock, we have 12 numbers. Let us talk about clock with hands. The short hand tells the hour. It moves slowly. The long hand tells the minute. It moves faster. The longest hand tells the second. It moves very fast. Do you know how many lines are there in the clock? Excellent! There are 60 lines around the clock. Each line represents one minute. A complete turn of long hand is equal to 60 minutes or one hour. For you to understand better, let's explore the following. There are 60 seconds in one minute. There are 60 minutes in one hour. For half an hour, there are 30 minutes. One quarter of an hour is equal to 15 minutes. Remember, one quarter is another name for one fourth. Take note that the shorthand tells the hour. That is why we call this as our hand. Then, the long hand tells the minute, so it is called minute hand. Every space between two numbers on the clock shows five minutes. Let's observe the pictures. First, the clock tells 12.15 or quarter past 12. Second, the clock shows 12.30 or half past 12. Third, the time is 7.45 or quarter to 8. Now that you have learned about telling the time, let's try to observe the clock and we will tell what time it shows. Are you ready? That's great! Now, see the clock. What time is it? Wonderful! It's 5 o'clock. Remember, if the hour hand is pointing at 5 and the minute hand is pointing at 12, the time is 5 o'clock. Next, observe the clock. What time is shown? Nice job. It's 6.15. Take note, if the hour hand is between 6 and 7 and the minute hand points at 3, it is 6.15 or quarter past 
six. Remember that the other way of writing six o'clock in the morning could also be six a.m. and six o'clock in the evening is six p.m. Lastly, from six o'clock a.m. to six o'clock p.m. is twelve hours. Finally, knowing how to tell time is important. It will help us to do our work well. Unlike money, we cannot keep time in our piggy banks. So, we must spend time wisely. Let us not waste our time. Let's try the following activities to check if you understood our lesson. Instruction. Encircle the correct time as shown in the clock. Number one. Yes, you're right. The answer is 245. Number two. Correct! The time is 7.15. Let's have number three. Good job! It is 3.30. How about number four? You're right! The time is 4.45. And lastly, number five. Correct! The time is six o'clock. Let's have more activities, kids. In your notebook, write the correct time for each clock. Number one. Very good. The correct answer is 7 o'clock. Let us have number 2. You got it right. The correct answer is 6.30. How about number 3? Correct. The time is 10 o'clock. How about number four? Good job. The correct time is 7.45. And lastly, number five. Excellent! The correct time is 11.30. Kids, you did a great job today because you actively participated in our lesson. You have learned how to tell the time and its importance. Goodbye and continue studying. Until next time!